guys so i welcome you to the lecture series on introduction to cyber security and today our topic is hashing finding streams in the basic analysis portion of malware so myself dr deepas Dibora. so in the last lecture we have seen that what is the importance of antivirus scanning and what are its different methodologies or strategies okay so after the scanning portion, we come to the hashing or finding strings. Okay, so what is hashing? You should note down that hashing is regarded as a fingerprint of malware. So hashing is regarded as a fingerprint for malware. And you all know what does it mean by fingerprint? Because fingerprint represents one person's unique identity. Your fingerprint may not be equal to another one. Okay, so this is the kind of fingerprint for malware to identify and detect the malware. So hashes uniquely identify each malware separately and we can share these hashes online and with other resources which will stop these malwares based on signature. As we have already discussed, that based on sig signatures, we can perform that antivirus scanning so that we can remove that treating softwares or treating files. Okay, those files which are causing some threats to our systems. Clear? So we can also check whether this file was already been identified or not. That's why you use hashing. Okay, now you may use MD5 and SSA hashes for the MD5 deep tool. Well, this term sounds strange for you. That's why I'm giving a case study for you. Okay, you have to go through it. And what is that case study? I'll discuss. Now, first, other thing is that next step is that finding strings. Finding strings means once the antivirus scanning is done and hashing is complete, it's time to move on to checking the strings in the executable. Got it? So next step is the very important one that because in the case of finding strings, we are trying to check those strings that may be in our executable files. Okay, so you all know that strings are what? Sequence of characters. And strings are commonly found in executable where when there is a message to be printed, connects to a URL or copies a file to specific locations. You have to note down, this is very, very important that strings are commonly found in an executable when there is a message to be printed and connects to a URL or copies a file to a specific location. And of course, this will give us what? A hint about what basically going on behind the scheme. Clear? So we can have the clue regarding the DLL files, functions, which are within those executables. So that's why we perform this finding of string portion after our scanning and hashing is done. Now, as I have mentioned one case study, so you're, you have to conduct this case study on MD5 deep tool. Okay, take it seriously. If you want to know a lot on, or know more on this MD5 deep tool, then do a case study, go through some usual Google-based search, whatever the contents you have found out, and whatever the particular files regarding these tools. Okay, make a collection on them. If, if possible, try to learn how to operate on this MD5 deep tool. Well, so coming to the today's question. Today's question is that you have to comment your answer. What are MD5 and SHA hashes? I'm repeating again. What are MD5 and SHA hashes? So, comment your answer and we'll meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care, stay safe at home. Bye-bye.